Should have spent that time learning life skills, though. And there's a term for it, actually. Uh, executive functioning. It's a fancy-sounding term for important life skills that kids need to be successful in school and in the future. Groves Academy in St. Louis Park is hosting a free executive functioning workshop this month. Megan Miller is a speech-language pathologist from Groves Academy. Megan, good morning. Good morning. What is exactly, then, uh, executive functioning? So executive functioning is kind of an umbrella term for all of the skills that a person needs to manage themselves and their resources in order to be able to achieve a goal. So a good analogy is if you imagine your brain as an orchestra, the executive functioning skills are the conductor of that orchestra. They're making sure that all of your other abilities and skills are staying coordinated mm. to make music. So is it like, um, is it like organizing, like planning, prioritizing? Yeah. Yep, those are some great examples. Also managing your time, being able to maintain your focus, even things like keeping track of your belongings, controlling your emotions or inhibiting your impulses. Those are all considered executive functioning skills. Well, I think that's a I think that's incredibly important for kids to learn at an age and I think it's important for everybody. Absolutely, it definitely is. Yeah. Um it seems like it could probably have a a big impact on not only not only school, but uh, just uh, in terms of like thinking bigger. And as you go along, as you get uh, a higher in high school and in college, and then off in your career. Yeah, absolutely. And what we find with some of our students is that they have um, really strong innate ability, and often their intelligence is average or above average. But um, if they have trouble with these executive functioning skills, they kind of get in the way of being able to access that knowledge mm. and really reach their full potential. Are there any are there any groups that have more difficulty with uh, with executive functioning skills? Yeah, so all people start developing executive functioning skills right at the beginning of life as babies, and most people don't fully develop all of these skills until they're twenty five or thirty years old. So, a lot of teenagers are still having a lot of difficulty with executive functioning, but. People with learning disorders and ADHD especially tend to develop the skills even slower. Um, So all young kids, to some degree, are going to have difficulty with executive functioning, but then kids with ADHD and learning disorders will have even more difficulty. Is there anything that parents can do? You you mentioned that uh, 25 to 30 is when when people really start to grow, but is there anything that parents can do for their kids to, like, you know, help them along or plant seeds? Yeah, absolutely. So the most important thing, I think, is modeling good practice. So modeling um, ways to stay organized or keeping a calendar or setting alarms so that they get used to seeing that. Also, keeping routine and structure um, is important. Having kind of a designated place and time for homework is helpful. And then breaking things down into small steps. Um, And then the big thing, too, is making sure that you're emphasizing the really good things and using positive reinforcement Hmm. um, to draw attention to the things that your kids are doing really well um, versus emphasizing punishment or the things that they're not maybe so great at. Those would be my big tips mm. for parents in terms of executive functioning. Mm-hmm. She's Megan Miller. She's a speech-language pathologist from Groves Academy. Now, Groves Academy is in St. Louis Park. It's hosting a free executive functioning workshop this uh, this month, uh, and that's what we're talking about is that executive functioning. Are there Are there signs... That, that would point to maybe if uh, a child is struggling with, with these type of skills? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the big signs is if they're having trouble maintaining focus in the classroom, that can be a big warning sign. That usually comes about when they're first starting elementary school. Teachers will start to notice. But also at home, if you're giving your kid um, directions like go upstairs, brush your teeth, grab your backpack, and come back down here and they're getting to the go upstairs and maybe brushing their teeth, but they're never able to kind of finish that sequence. That can be a sign. Um, Or having a lot of trouble managing their emotions can also be a sign, too. Mm -hmm. And then another big one is if they're going to school and they're doing really well in the classroom and then they're coming home to do their homework and they're making comments like they can't remember anything that they learned in school and they, they got it when they were there, but now they're at home and they can't remember how to do it. That's also another sign. Yeah. What about, uh, so if parents are, are concerned, obviously um, they can seek help and, and get an assessment and stuff like that, but what about this workshop that Groves Academy is, is up to? When is that? What is it exactly? Yeah, so Groves Academy has a ton of resources um, for parents, and one of them is this workshop. It's coming up on June 27th, 
And actually that whole week, starting June 24th, we have free workshops for our parents from 9 to noon, but the one on the 27th is about executive functioning. Um, and then the other things that we're doing here are we've developed a course for our upper school students um, to teach them about executive functioning and what strategies are helpful to them um, to kind of compensate for those. We're also working on developing a course for our younger elementary students for next year to help kids learn about their brains and how they work and um, learn different resources that might be useful to them. And we're also doing a summer class focused on executive functioning and writing. So we're doing a lot of explicit instruction and just talking about it with our kids. How do your brains work? Why are you having trouble with these mm-hmm. things? And what are some things you can do to help yourself? Is that workshop for parents and kids or, or parents or kids? That workshop on the 27th is really geared toward parents, especially as okay. adolescents. Um, it's going to be led by two of our upper school faculty that teach our executive functioning class. Yeah. So they're going to be talking a lot about the course and students' reactions to it and how parents can be involved. That's great. Megan Miller, thanks so much for the time this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You got it. Talk soon. Yep. Bye. She's Megan Miller, a speech-language pathologist with Groves Academy. That's in St. Louis Park, and they're hosting, as you heard her say, a free executive functioning workshop for parents uh, later this month, and you can find them online if you want to uh, learn more.